Hey guys, so today I'm back talking about my top five foundations that I would recommend using for your wedding day. Now obviously, wedding day makeup is a big topic for your big day. Um, if you're going to be doing your own makeup, then I would definitely recommend kind of researching what you wanna use for your skin and definitely, definitely trying it out before the big day. But there's a few recommendations when it comes to foundation. And foundation's really important because it kind of obviously forms the base of your makeup. And on your wedding day, you want your makeup to last as long as possible. And your foundation plays a big part in that kind of creating a solid foundation for all of the colour that you're going to put on top of it as well. If you do have a makeup artist, it's also worth talking to her in advance, which you'll probably do during your test and stuff as well, to work out what your skin is like, what kind of foundation finish you want and things like that. But today I'm talking about my top five personal recommendations. The first one is the newest release from Armani. Their Luminous Silk Foundation, which is their kind of cult classic one, is also a really good wedding day one if you want something a little bit lighter. But their new one is Power Fabric. And as the name would suggest with this, it's seriously long lasting on the skin. I wouldn't recommend this if you have dry skin, but if you have normal to oily skin, this is really, really brilliant. Comes in lots of different shades, so you can kind of get a good match for you. But in terms of the finish, it's matte, but not kind of dead looking. It's not flat looking. It still gives you a really nice kind of natural look to the skin. I personally like to apply this and most of my foundations, to be honest, with a damp beauty blender, because I think it gives you the most kind of dewy, kind of fresh looking finish. It does have SPF 25 and a little bit of a kind of touch on the SPF debate for wedding days. I know a lot of people say avoid SPF for your wedding day because you're gonna have lots of photos taken. But in general, SPF is only a problem, A, if it's a physical SPF, um, then you get a flashback. And B, if you're actually gonna have a lot of flash photography, which if you are, especially if you're getting married in the summer, you're probably not gonna have a lot of flash photography. But most wedding photographers now don't use flash photography. If you're really worried about the photographs in the evening, um, then maybe it's something to consider looking for something without SPF. But personally, um, I've never noticed a problem with it. I do quite a lot of people's wedding makeup for friends and stuff, not professionally, but um, for a lot of my friends, I'll do their wedding makeup and they've never had an issue with kind of flashback in photos and things like that. And I do use foundations with SPF. So yeah, it does have SPF 25. So that's my first recommendation. My second recommendation is one of my all time favorite foundations. This is Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. And I think this foundation is slightly better if you want a little bit more of a lighter finish to the skin. It's a very buildable foundation and I think a lot of people dismiss this on its texture when they first use it, it is very, very light, but you definitely can build it up to a solid kind of medium to full coverage. And also don't forget that you use concealer as well. So if you've got anything major to cover up, it is nice to use concealer for that and then still let a little bit of your skin kind of show through as well. So Vitalumia Aqua is really good if you have um, normal to dry skin, I would say, because it's very fresh feeling on the skin. But equally, I do have friends who have oilier skin that absolutely love this foundation too. So it kind of is a universal one. Um, the staying power isn't quite as intense as one like the Power Fabric. If you do have oily skin, I would recommend going for like a really long lasting one. Um, but this is really good and I've used this on loads of my friends for their wedding days and they've all looked beautiful. And this is the foundation I used on my wedding day as well. The next one is a new discovery for me and this is the Natasha Denona Foundation X. This has full coverage and as far as I'm aware, no SPF. It does not say on the bottle anyway that it has SPF. Um, I really, really love this and I, think that this foundation is great for all skin types because I've got kind of normal to sometimes dry skin and I think it looks beautiful on me. It's very, this is actually the one I'm wearing today. It's very, very natural and kind of dewy looking, but also I've got some friends with oilier skin that wear this and say that it's brilliant as well. It lasts a really long time, definitely full coverage, um, but it gives you a really nice kind of natural glowing finish to the skin and it would be a really, really nice one for your wedding day. Not the easiest to buy in the UK, you can only get it online, so if you're not sure on your colour, um, it could be a bit of a risky one, but they do sell it in store in Sephora in the States, so if you are going over to the States or if you're based there, I definitely recommend checking that one out. Another favourite, probably more for the normal to drier skin, is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Now, this is a tricky foundation to get um, your head around. I didn't like it when I first used it, but applying it with a damp beauty blender, as I said before, is my favorite way to apply foundation. Um, it just looks really beautiful on the skin. 
It's got a really solid medium coverage. In terms of lasting power, it's probably not as punchy as some of the others, but it is a really nice foundation. And this is one that would be a really good kind of day-to-day um, -day foundation afterwards as well, because it's not super, super high coverage like the Natasha Denona and the Power Fabric. And then the last recommendation, I, I don't actually have here to show you because I left it at my friend's house, but I'm gonna insert a picture of it because it is one of my all-time favorites, again, and it is brilliant for weddings because it lasts all day long. It is the Dior Forever Foundation. They reformulated this last year. It's absolutely brilliant. It's full coverage. It looks beautiful on the skin. It lasts all day and it looks so natural. Like the finish on the skin doesn't look like a full coverage foundation. It's just really, really beautiful, really natural, as are all of these foundations. Um, but the the Dior Forever is really just a brilliant all rounder. And again, it works well on all skin types, depending on how you powder it. I've got kind of normal to dry and I love it. And then I've also got a friend who has extremely oily skin who uses it and loves it too. So um, that's definitely a really, really great recommendation for wedding makeup. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any requests of any more videos like this, any more beauty videos on this channel, let us know and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.